As you probably have seen by now, I have posted a an image of all of the garments I'm going to be using, taking apart and using for the project and I have taken them apart. I've ironed them, ironed and starched. This will um, oh, make it a lot easier to sew them together if they're a little bit stiffer, I've found in the past. Um, and over here on this side, I've got the trousers I'm going to be using for the Ardeniel, the Spacer, Robot Spacer Fellows costume. Um, I've seam ripped the sides open. Now, they're fairly loose trousers to begin with, but A, there's part of me that kind of wants to give them just a little bit of a boot flare, because I seem to remember something about that, and I know there's supposed to be a stripe down the side. So, I'll add those both at once by making sort of a triangular stripe, a little different than your average evening stripe, which is just square. And I've started to take this Ralph Lauren shirt apart. I've taken one sleeve off and I'll be replacing it with a sleeve from pink shirt over here. And I'll be giving it a little bit of extra collar, giving it a little bit, putting the cuff here. Um, and I'll make a little, a few little accents with this sort of Art Nouveau-ish um, fabric print, which I've had for a long time, and I'll be glad to finally use. And I think it will go well with the character and some of my drawings I used, so first collaged and then drawn, I used a part of a uniform which had some flowers tucked into it, and I feel that will be in a way to reference that nicely. Um, as for the rest of this, obviously I, at this point I can't make something directly like my drawings, so I'm sort of referencing the lack of um, symmetry, the asymmetry of the garments in my drawings for the Ardeniel character. I'm also, I've ironed the sides over on this open waistcoat to give it sort of lapels, and I think I'll be wearing this with that, giving it a nice sort of relaxed sporting look, which is what I want for the character. Now, over here, I've got a bunch of little parts and pieces. I've got a shirt, which I've taken the collar off of, and I'll be sticking this wing collar onto. Um, this is in part referencing, this is of course Elijah Bailey's costume, and this is in part referencing the fact that for the collaging for his costumes, I used bits of Hugo Hugo Boss's um, actual a portrait of him, and he was wearing a wing collar, and I decided to incorporate that into one of my outfits, and I'll be referencing that there. I'll also have a series of first the lapels off this old military jacket, and then the original shirt collar sort of layered going down as almost strap-like functions, um, which is something I played around with in one of my drawings as well. Um, use the upelets, or however you say it, um, French word, as straps going down, continuing that theme, possibly um, adding these pockets onto there and buttoning those onto those and using other pieces from that jacket to drape over it and installing this zipper, which is from the sweater you will have seen in the photograph of all the garments intact, um, to close it all. I didn't have time to properly seam rip the zipper out, so nastily cut out mess, but it will work. And I'll be using little pieces of the sweater fabric, this nice sort of synthetic fleece, and 
to make and pieces of the coat to make a sort of draped cape like thing over the top I think and then I've got some dark dark rather plain boring pinstriped trousers which I will actually probably find some ways to connect to the main garment so that it's more of a jumpsuit more of or something maybe boilish suit-ish, um, a pilot suit maybe. Um, now I've got some other fabrics that I might use that I've got set to the side, but these are the main pieces that I'll be using for now. I hope this was interesting. Bye. Well, I've finished the Ardeneal costume, and I'm going to go out and shoot for the day. I've got some things to do with it. But I thought for the sake of the little documentary, I would show some of the aspects. As I said, I did replace the collar on this sort of light yellow off-white shirt with the pink collar, and I did indeed use the little flower pattern fabric for accents. Now, my left sleeve is a pink dress shirt sleeve, um, or what we'd moderately consider a dress shirt. My right sleeve, however, is the natural sleeve of the garment except for the cuff, which is the shirt's cuff. And I have obviously also done some little um, elaborations onto that with little piece of fabric. Now, the trousers, I have a stripe of off-white going down to a triangle, or, well, trapezoid, rather, in this case, of the floral print fabric, which widens the leg a little bit and gives it a little bit of an extra flair. Now, um, the shirt is open, worn open, and I have also ironed the lapels into the waistcoat. I don't remember if I'd done that in the last video or not, um, but it's done there, and it's on my body. So, that's that. Well, I'm finally done with the other costume, the... Elijah Bailey costume. Now, one of the first things you'll probably notice is like I had shaved my face and cut my hair for the last one to fit in for Ardeneal, I have shaved part of my head, or, well, quite a bit of my head, for the idea that hair might be repurposed to something else on Earth where natural resources seem to be in rather high demand and few and far between. But as for the costume itself, um, it's finally together. It's less sewn together as shambled. I mean, yes, it's stitched, but there's a lot of just rough seams that are rough edges I just quickly slammed on there, but I'm running out of time and I've got to admit that. Um, overall, it's okay. It could be a lot better. It's been a comedy of errors putting it together. And I just hope I have time for some of the other things and time to shoot. I'll probably, to get more of the American detective look, I may end up wearing my fedora with it, but we'll see. Um, some scenes will have to be without it so I can show off my hair. Um, if I bothered to shave it off, it better be for something. But as you can see, I've put a shoulder cape as referencing some of the collaged um, ideas. And bizarre lapel positions, little wing collar, and I've got a little insignia of rank. Um, took apart a... Um, actual rank piece to put that together into 
four bars and one crossbar representing a tier five citizen. And so all in all, it's okay. Could be a lot better. Um, it didn't end up connecting it to those trousers, but you know, savvy. Well, I'd best get to some other things, and I hope this was interesting. Just as the final bit to the little documentary, I thought it would be amusing to have all of the major costume pieces hung up next to each other. Of course, this is um, the shirt for Ardeniel, and the trousers for Ardeniel. And this is the shirt coat thing that I made for Elijah Bailey. With all of its zippery goodness and its little insignia of rank in society and lapels and frayed edges and all of that. Bad stitching on the inside. My tension was off or something, I'm not sure exactly. Too tired to know. Um, so yeah, there they are. Without me in them and without... Well, without being in pieces. This is the final product, Sam's Human.